What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on the other side of midnight, and it's raining here in Fort Wayne. And uh, wow, I'm telling you, it's even chilly. But nevertheless, I'm doing pretty good myself. Uh, I come across this particular situation right here with this Texas team by the name of uh, Caesar Orlando. Okay, and uh, Caesar Orlando has been brought up on capital murder charges for the demise of his entire family, okay? Yeah, these people that you see next to him, he took out his entire family. But the thing is, is this, wait till y'all see why. Check this video out and then we'll get into the commentary. Being on new disturbing details and the deadly discovery made after a suspect standoff with police. A Northeast Texas teenager is accused of killing four family members. Now, according to a court affidavit, 18 year old Cesar Olade allegedly called 911 and confessed to killing his mother, father, and siblings. KSL News 12's Tamar Knight spoke with very shocked neighbors. I'm shocked. The boy that done the shooting, their son, was a kind boy. He was nice and polite to me. The family was polite and nice, no problems out of them. The city of Nash is shocked after tragedy struck for the Oladay family. 18-year-old Caesar Oladay faces capital murder charges accused of killing his immediate family. We received a call um, stating that uh, the suspect had uh, allegedly um, caused some harm to some of his family members and had the intentions of possibly committing suicide by cop. Luckily, that didn't happen. According to a court affidavit obtained from Bowie County, Caesar says he killed his family, claiming they were cannibals and they were going to eat him. They were real nice people, really good to me and my wife. They really looked after us because they thought we were the two old people on the hill and they really checked on us all the time. Neighbors claim the family lived in their Lemon Acres home for the past 12 years and were good neighbors. I'm, I'm going to miss, miss them tremendously and I would love to talk to the boy that done the shooting and just get, let him tell me why he done it and everything because I don't think he was on any kind of drugs and he didn't do, he wasn't mean. He was, he was always kind and courteous. I just can't understand it. The affidavit further says the Oladay family forced their way into the home and saw Caesar with a firearm. That's where he allegedly admitting to killing his father, mother, and siblings. Right now, there's no word on when he'll be arraigned. His bond is currently set at $10 million. In Nash, Texas, Tamer Knight, KSLA News 12. Wow. Um, if the word paranoia became a person, it would be Cesar Orlande. Okay. <laughs> he actually thought that his parents, well, his family was going to eat him, cannibalize him. The old man, you know, says that he was a good boy and uh, what have you. And he wasn't on anything or what have you. He had to be on something. He had to be on something. You understand? Um, Again, I'm, I'm going to keep, you know, driving this nail in deep when I say all these bizarre situations that's taking place across the entire globe, especially here in America. Something's going on ever since people decided to go and let the cobra bite them. They lined up for the cobra to bite them. You understand what I'm saying? And ever since then, there's been a lot of crazy bizarre situations happening and that's just what it is now i don't know if the boy was right could his family have wanted to eat him <laughs> or not but my thing is is this he did not have to shoot them he's 18 years old he's old enough to go out and get up you know on his own basically he didn't even have to run away. All he had to do was just say, hey, 
I'm leaving. I don't want anything to do with you. I think you're going to eat me or whatever. And I'm not going to let you do that or whatever. You see, this is the reason why I believe that it's something wrong with him instead of his family or what have you. You understand? But hey, who knows, man? I, I mean, really. Um, with all this madness that is happening in family units now, you know, brothers and sisters killing one another, sisters killing each other. Um, what's the other story? A woman stabbed her 62 year old mother in the neck with scissors. And, uh, the other one, uh, some 20 some year old guy killed his grandparents because he said God told him to do it. Okay. And, um, what was the other one? The guy, there was another guy took a hatchet to his father's face. Now, um, there were all these cases, all the ones that I've just named other than this particular situation right here is actually our people. Okay, now this is kind of unheard of, you know, what our people, every now and again, somebody might wig out or whatever, but no, this is just, to be, it's just, it's just too much now. It's just happening too much. You understand? So yeah, um, this is the reason why I keep, you know, saying that, you know, uh, more than likely these things are caused by the snake bite. Just like the story that I did yesterday about um, a man, you know, uh, was at a family function. A fight broke out. And uh, he tried, he actually intervened in the fight to actually break it up. Well, what happened there was he was bitten on the thigh. I don't know why they chose to bite him on his thigh, on the left thigh. <laughs> but guess what? His left thigh started to rot. In other words, if he hadn't went and uh, to the doctor, you know, emergency, um, his leg would have rotted off. Okay, and the doctor had to do surgery and cut the rot, the infected areas out. It was actually deteriorating the muscle. Okay, yeah. So you don't want to get bit by people. You understand? Number one, number two, especially those who lined up for the cobra. You know what I'm saying? They've been talking about this zombie apocalypse for quite a while now. And now we're finally seeing results of such things happen. Happening, you know. And that's just my, you know, uh, opinion on it. And I know we're going to be hearing even more things. I'm waiting to hear more things about people getting bitten you know, uh, and uh, <laughs> just like that show, Fear the Walking Dead, here we are, okay? People going to get bitten and start deteriorating. Next thing you know, they going to turn into zombies, you know, just like that movie right there. Who knows? Totally speculation as of now, but it only takes me to see something once or twice before I know that it's actually fact, you know, and not fiction. And that's just what I believe about it. But I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular situation right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts in the comment section about it. You know, tell me uh, in a roundabout way. Do y'all think that maybe, you know, the Cobra Venom or whatever has got a lot of this stuff going on? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.